Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. I'm gonna use the best parts of the ribeye to create a new steak. Today is a special day. It is steak day. Every day is steak day. Don't worry about it. Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever day of the week you choose, you can eat steak. But today is kind of a special day because I'm gonna create my own steak out of this whole roast. So let's open it up. This is a whole ribeye roast, a black Aberdeen. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite breeds of beef. And I'm just gonna cut a steak out of it so you can take a closer look inside. Look at this. The combination of dark red meat combined with beautiful intramuscular fat, absolutely gorgeous. But what we're gonna talk about today is this part of the steak. This is called the spinellus. And that's going to be the part that I'm gonna create my own steak out of. And now that I opened the roast up, you can see all of these spinelluses sitting on top of the ribeye steak. They're everywhere. And why am I so excited about this part of the steak? It's because it contains the most intramuscular fat and it's the most flavorful part there is. And what if I can create my own steak out of the best parts of the ribeye? If we compare the steaks, you can see that some have a beautiful big spinellus, where other ones have a smaller spinellus. So I'm gonna leave this steak as it is, vacuum it for another steak day, and just take the ones that have this beautiful big spinellus sitting on the outside. To break up the ribeye is very easy. The spinellus just sits on top of the steak and basically already falls off. So all you need to do is apply a little bit of pressure and once you get it almost detached, just use your knife to cut off the last bit. And then you're gonna end up with these loose pieces of spinellus. And of course, the eye of the ribeye, which is a perfectly good steak in itself. Now I'm gonna take these parts of the spinellus and you can create a steak out of one of these spinelluses. But you can also add another one or you can put on a third and end up with a huge steak like this. Now that's what I call an epic steak. And then to finish it off, all I need to do is tie it up with some butcher's twine and make sure that it's nice and secure. And to grill my steak, I fired up my Kamada Joe. I put in charcoal, put in fire starters, lit it up, and when the charcoal was hot, I put a grill grate on over the direct heat so we get a beautiful sear. And now that my Kamada Joe grill is nice and hot, I'm gonna put on my steak and get a beautiful sear on it. And when you're working with a stainless steel grill grate, you wanna make sure you rotate your steak frequently so you build up a beautiful crust. Once I got a crust that I want on my steak, <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna set it on my board and put in my thermometer. This thermometer is gonna help me keep check of the temperature while I'm going to slowly let it come up to 52 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna close the bottom fan to one finger open. I'm gonna put my grill grates on the highest position opposite of the fire, and that's where I'm gonna place my steak. Now it's time to close the lid and let the fire do its job. Once I got the notification that the core temperature has been reached, I'm gonna take my steak off and place it on the cutting board. I'm gonna take the thermometer out, press it a little bit so it's flat, and I'm gonna let this rest. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make something that's gonna blow your mind. And the good news is it's super easy. All it requires is some parsley, lemons, garlic, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna chop fine some parsley. Once the parsley is chopped fine, I'm gonna peel a lemon. We don't want the white stuff, just the yellow stuff that sits on the outside. I'm gonna chop those lemon peels fine. Because we don't mind a little bit of chunk, but too much is no good. Now it's time for garlic. Apply a little bit of pressure, peel the garlic, and then chop it. Put all of that in your mortar and pestle. Pound it until everything is broken down. Then add three tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon of fleur de sel, a few twists on the old pepper mill, and then mix it up. And there 
is your gremolata, the Italian salsa. Give it a quick try. Oh, mamma mia. Now let's take a look on the inside of my beautiful newly created steak. Wow, that looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. Absolutely cooked to perfection. And the good thing about this is there's no big fat cap in this steak. There's just beautiful intramuscular fat. Let's sprinkle on a little bit of salt and my steak is done. All I need to do now is enjoy it. There we go. Mm. Mm. That's incredibly tender. This is the most weird idea you had in months, but I get it now. Delicious is flavorful and I love the Aberdeen black, but the steak is crusty, crunchy from the fat that rendered down and the flame shooting up onto the steak and building up that crust. Cooked to perfection, to the right temperature. So, so tasty. This is one of my favorite steaks. Absolutely perfect barbecue flavor and tender and juicy as can be. You want this in your life. And there's of course a little side note. Out of all this meat, you can only create so much steak. So that's kind of like a downside to it, but hey, it's well worth it. I'm gonna give it a try with a little bit of gremolata. The Italian salsa. There we go. Mm. Mm. Gremolata, mamma mia, da ti da ti da. You wanna taste this? Yeah, like I'll this? Just, I'll just wait for it. Like this? I will just wait till it hits. It hit. <laughs> All I need is just one look at Morrison and I know when it hits him. Mm. It's just that gremolata. It really brightens things up. But the steak is already so good with the crust and the tenderness. And then the gremolata just goes on top of that. Like the lemon and the parsley and the garlic, all fresh. It's like an Italian boxer just hitting you in your face. Wake yeah. up, man. You Wake love up. It. Yeah, yeah, you go for more. But wait, hold, hold on. Oh, sorry. Not too much though. Oh. I need a little bit too. Mm, this is good stuff, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Big thank you to the patrons and the YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then. Hey, smart look. And, and, and go to the website, man. Oh, don't forget to go to the we website. We got a new website. We put the recipe of the gemalata oh, on man. the website. You want so to check it out. Definitely check that out. Mm. Mm. Did you know that you can change the quantity on the website? Mm. It's a freaking good website now. It's amazing. We improved it. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna head out for the next video. And you can click the next video. It's freaking awesome as well. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this because Morrison's gone now. I can eat everything myself. <laughs>